What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another Legacy Cube Draft here on Magic Online. ZiminiPod, thank you so much for the resub. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. Uh, this thing fired immediately. So, what's going on, guys? Jellyfield Donut, McGimp, Aridin, Ash, Skeletal Cat, Super Fritz. What's going on, everybody? Mole Drifter is nice. Jitte is nice. Thank you. Sinister Sabotage is nice. Jellyfield Donut, thank you so much for the resub. Welcome back. Really appreciate it. Really appreciate it. Move this. Oh, that's not what we're trying to move. Move this like here. And then it's good during drafts. Alright. Hmm. I'm not sure I love deck Fabian. I do like Jitte. I do like Moldrifter a lot. I think we just want the Moldrifter and see what can happen. Let's see what happens with this Moldrifter. What's going on, Planeswalker Academy? Spaghetti Toucher, what's going on? Thank you so much for the bits. Really appreciate it. You can't pass Maldor after this, is true. Uh, we could take a Deceiver Exarch and try to do that again. I feel like we've focused on that a lot. But I mean, like, if they're there, it's just good. We could take Nicol Bolas finally. One, two, three, four, five, six, oh, 14 cards, 6 cards. I bet Nicol Bolas comes back. Let's try to be Grixis. I had a dream about you and Mike last night. We ate so much food. I hope it was. I hope we had a good time. Any recommendations for overlays or apps? Uh, not really. I don't really focus on that kind of stuff. Um, I just do whatever, like... Whatever has to do with my things, like obviously I'll be like, hey, your your Twitch Prime sub is ready, or like the decks for stream for stream decker, I'll uh, make sure that's up. But other than that, I don't really pay too much attention to overlays and stuff. Yeah, I don't. I don't hate artisan, and it keeps us in the blue. It's the only real. I mean, I like it better than. I like it better than repeal. Yeah, we'll just take an artisan. Oh, it's actual Mike Mike in the chat. I'll take an underground C. Or a chromatic lantern. Now I'm just gonna go with the underground C. I ain't. I ain't crazy. Uh, torrential gear Hulk is a decent. Liliana and Fatal Push are both okay. Deceiver X Arc's a little weird, but we could be we could be Grixis. I like Grixis. I feel like there aren't actually enough instants or sorceries for this, but I never see it played. Let's take a Torrential Gear Hulk and see if we can make it better. Oh look, they just want us to play Sultai like they always do. It's probably just Jace, right? Jace is pretty good. I mean I could see taking the Abrade, but I, I really don't feel a, a really strong need to not take the Oh, it's Hundra too. Jeez. So we've just we've we've seen underground tundra and tropical island. The only thing we need left is volcanic. That's crazy. Um, I kind of just want the tundra to be honest. I am assuming that Nicol Bolas will come back. Could take the Liliana. I don't I don't love Liliana. I'm just gonna take the Cyclonic Rift here. Yeah, I'll take Phantasm. Another oh, breeding pool going away. That's sad. But, like, our mono blue deck is looking pretty spicy here. All right, next pick should theoretically be Nicol Bolas. Theoretically. I actually like PNLR. I don't like PNLR here. I actually like uh, one of these two white cards. And it makes me wish I took the Tundra. But I'm just going to take the Malicious Affliction. Come on, Nicol Bolas. Come on, Nicol. Oh, we did it. All right. Yep, we're just going to take that and try to play it. See if that does anything for us.
Oh, red cap came back. Red cap's not bad. I'll take a red cap. Maybe it is bad. Maybe red cap is bad. Whip of Erebos and a Leshnorn. Man, the white cards. Really, really something. Uh, the stream of release starts at 7 a.m. Pacific time. I don't know if that's when I'm going to start, but... Treat the angels, huh? I'll just take Shardless Agent. Maybe we're not red. I don't know. We're probably red. Oh, man. Jelly fell down. You killed it last time. Uh, We're not playing white, but Stratus Dancer is not great. Oh, Lumbering Falls. All right. Well. All right. Went to the dentist today, and they put... uh. They, they put fluoride all over my teeth, so I still have this, like... Floridey feel. Well, that was a much. Oh, actually, we can fix this side a little bit. Yeah, that doesn't. What happened to that one? Oh, that's 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 different. Uh, you did not miss Lord Step yet. This is the first this is the first draft I've done today. All right. Ooh, Niv Mizzet. However, the uh, coalition relic is already gone, which would be or a chromatic lantern rather is already gone, which would be extremely helpful in being able to cast this. It's still pretty good. And we also have one fixing land after a pack. What up, pernicious dude? I don't think it's Confluence. I don't think it's Necrotal or Reanimate. I think it might just be Niv Mizzet here. And then we just prioritize all of the lands we can get. Yeah, I'm just going to take the Niv Mizzet. And I'm going to take a Blood Crypt. Because that is a pretty easy pick with this pack. Not even close. My weird dream is up in chat somewhere. I gotta stop watching your vids before bed. Oh my god. You came to Sweden and was my guest. My girlfriend was not thrilled because of Mike's snoring, but we went out to all the food places in my town because I had won some contests so we could eat and drink for free and won for one day. Then we went drafting and me and Mike got real drunk because we played some weird drinking drafting game. I lost to you at the finals and you went home with a Karn and an Expedition Volcanic Island. Wow, that's that's amazing. What a hell of a dream. What a time to be alive. Uh, I could take Vampire Nighthawk. I think, like, Sheldock, especially with Nicol Bolas or Niv Mizzet, I think Sheldock's probably where we want to be. Um, I like all three of these cards, but they're not really... This is Splashing Green, this is Splashing White, this is Splashing Green. I'm just going to take Sheldock here. No lands. There is a Bedevil. I don't know if that's going to be great for us, but it is a pretty solid card. I don't think there's anything really better in this pack. Everflowing Chalice is nice because it ramps to this, but we still need very, very restrictive color. Uh, but Devil's also nice because we have Torrential Gear Hulk. Marsh Flats gets Underground Sea and Blood Crypt right now. So I'm going to take that. Zealous Conscripts is pretty good. So is Coligon's Command. Probably want the Zealous Conscripts. Uh, then we have Deceiver Exarch and Zealous Conscripts if we find the combo. Zimnipod, have a good dinner, buddy.
I'm eating some raisins right now. Compulsive research seems great. Feeling makes me bust good? I don't know if that's true. <sighs> I'm about to bust. Mm -hmm. mm. Tasker could be good here. I also like Is It Charm and Murderous Cut. I think Murderous Cut's probably going to be better for us. If we're taking one of the uh, Delve cards, I'd rather have the removal spell. I think we've learned in the past that removal in this, in this queue is actually pretty good. Necrotal. Charter course is actually pretty nice. Let's take the charter course. At this juncture, I'm not sure we're going to be able to uh, to trigger this. But we could discard like a Niv Mizzet and then have a way to reanimate it. I don't know. We'll see. Isolated Chapel. Boy, if we had white black, or yeah, if we were playing white black instead of red black, I think it'd be pretty crazy. Pretty crazy, guys. Pretty... I'm just going to take it anyway. There's nothing else in this pack. I'm not going to play either of the one drops or Aurelia. Wow, two of the three came back. Bogard and Hellkite. I'm just going to take the Vraska. We already have Lumbering Falls. That's pretty crazy. And both of these are fine. I'll take the Roast. I'll take Huntmaster of the Fells. Now I'm like, maybe we're Jund with blue. Jund, blue Jund. Oh, Volcanic Island. I will take you over anything else in this pack. I like Snapcaster, but I mean, I, I'm not going to pass this Volcanic Island. So now in this draft, we have seen all of the blue dual lands. We also passed Tropical End Tundra. That's pretty crazy. Uh, Time Warp is cool. We have, like, no Planeswalkers, right? We have one Jace. Scrubland. We have Marsh Flats, Isolated Chapel, and Scrubland. Jeez. Might just be Hostage Taker. I do like Hostage Taker. Yeah, we'll Hostage Take. Uh, Concealed Quarry. We've seen all of them now. I believe there's only four of, uh... Of each land. Uh, Shieldred's not bad. Mindstone is not bad. Factor Fiction is probably going to be the pick, though. I can't imagine not taking a Factor Fiction. I also don't think Whip of Erebos is going to make the cut. Arcane Artisan also looking pretty iffy. Uh, Windswept Heath, do you get anything? Not really, no. Oh, Shambling Vent. I guess now we've seen them all. <laughs> we've seen Isolated Chapel, Marsh Flats, Scrubland, Concealed Courtyard, and Shambling Vent. So now we've seen all five of the... I'm just going to take Doom Blade. Oh, Polluted Delta. That's exactly what we're looking for. I kind of hope that Mana Confluence comes back, but I have my Thank doubts. You. Oh, Michael B. Holy ships. Another, almost the dirty 30 that's a that's a thing that's a thing thank you Michael B Michael B's like in bed I'm like he's like my leg is hurting so I can't come stream with you and I was like you want me to cut your leg off on stream and he was like deal so I'm just waiting for him to get I think he's finding a a handsaw pretty sure it's Merfolk looter I don't think it's Ulamog that seems a little narrow with the artisan. I think Marfolk Looter is just a good, just a solid dude. Yeah, it's Michael Badleg. That's what we call him. Or oh, he's a handsaw to cut off his leg. You're right. It should probably be a leg saw. You're right. I thought the B. Yeah, it's Mike by Mike. That's that's actually his full name. Uh, I'll take a Shriek Maw. I would like some counter spells. Like we have a lot of answers for creatures, but not necessarily that many answers for spells. I'm going to take this Lava Claw Reaches and be very thankful for it. I would love a Badlands, but... 
I also love like a steam vents, but I don't think we're I think we're past that point. What is this? 22 and 16, so that's 38. So we actually have seen all the cards we were gonna see, and now it's just now it's just repeats from here on out. Okay. Well, what can you do? Goblin, Rabble Master, Arc Trail, Rift Bolt. It's not Rebel Master. I think it's just Arc Trail here. Wow, the Scrubland came back? That's ridiculous. Fire Ice is also very, very nice. Fire Ice, very, very nice, especially with the Torrential Gear Hulk. This is so this is so so silly. I mean we don't have any lands that take advantage of it though. Like <laughs> Could have been good in black white here. Wow, this is this is ridiculous. I'm gonna take the mass manips here. Oh, uh, that's playable. That's really nice too. Jeez. All right. Well, I wish we had more fixing lands here, but we need two cuts. What time are days of prayers are attending, Logan? I'm looking forward to meeting your uh, studly self, but I can't remember which really said. Uh, I'm pretty sure we're doing the midnight on Friday and all of the Saturday ones. So I think that should be... I think that's what Jake asked me. So you should be fine if you hit any of the ones on Saturday. I could see cutting Artisan. This is like a two drop. We already have Merfolk Looter. I think that's probably fine. You're probably closer to a three drop. I like I like this late Chandra actually. I could probably cut Arc Trail. <laughs> Arc Trail's pretty good, though. It's kind of like a... We already have Fire, though. Yeah, I'm just going to cut Arc Trail here. I like Charter Course. I like being able to draw cards in late game, discard stupid lands. All right, so... Black, we have one... Oh, what are you doing over here? What are you doing? You're being ridiculous. Okay. We have one, two, three, four, five black sources. This puts us up to nine. We need two of them. All right, I'll say okay for now. One, two, three, four, five, nine, nine. And then red, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Nine, nine, seven. That actually seems just fine. I could see going down to eight here and adding another, so it's nine, eight, eight. I like that. I like that better actually, because of the triple, uh, the triple red here. Yeah, that seems good. I'm game with that. Plus, like we don't have to cast this guy on turn six. We can cast him on turn eight. Whatever. Dash, thank you so much for the resub. One whole year, buddy. Really appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Uh, I'll keep this hand. Can we get a blue source with this now that we got the underground out? Uh, we can get a volcanic with it. So that's pretty good. I kind of want to just shriek all this. <laughs> I, mean, I guess it could be better to Malicious Affliction because later we can just cast this guy. That seems fine. Oh, 
about Utopia Sprawl. Yeah, see, they would have played this guy, untapped this, and then they would have been going to town. Oh, a little red caparoo. A little red cap caparoo. They have one, two. So we're just going to play Delta here. We're not going to crack it. Um, I am concerned of them going a land acidic slime. Kill one of our lands because that puts us pretty far behind. Oh man, old filthy Frank videos. Jeez. Jeez. One, two, three, four, five. Don't be acidic slime. That's all I'm asking. Brought this on yourself, I just want you to know. <sighs> Look at where's the arc trail now? Psh, psh, arc trail would be amazing here. Yep, 100% blocking. No, I'll just take two. <laughs> Just gonna keep killing their their mana dorks. Like if we can keep them to less than six mana, I think it's pretty good for us. Next time we can shriek maw their battlement, and then we're just like way ahead on utility creatures that have killed their lands. Oh, no attacks there, huh? Well then. So we have killed one, two, three, four, five mana sources. That's a lot. That's a lot of mana sources. Oh, well, I guess they have land into Raffellos, so that's pretty good. Raffles. Raffley McMoffley. One, two, three, four. Let's play this guy. And we'll see what we hit. Mm. Ooh. So what do we have? Red, 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 blue, blue. We're missing, we're actually missing a land. We're missing a, a color for the Niv-Mizzet, but I don't think that really matters. I think it's just infinitely better than Charter Course, especially in their deck. Like, we know they're going to draw over Philos, and I don't think they have anything that costs... Uh, oh, God. <laughs> well, that's pretty good. So now you have six mana. Man, oh, we've killed five mana sources, and they're still like... So we need what? We either need... We need, we need a blue. We need a blue source, which they killed. So that's... Yep, Primeval Titan. Because that would be good. But then we can Zealous Conscripts it and attack for, like, a thousand... I see. Oh, that's rude. Why didn't they play Raffellos first and then activate? Oh, that's pretty bad. That's no bueno. So we can actually, uh, well, we can't if we're if we steal this we know there's going to be an island on top so we can't actually play it and then zealous conscripting doesn't really it doesn't really do much for us right now 
So they're going to draw a Lotus Cobra. Thank you. Frank Lump's Mountains. 14 month stipulation was drafted deck with 14 mountains in it. Just kidding. Your love for mountains is as clear as the day is Chicken Sunday. Frank Lump's Mountains, thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Glad you uh, did not really want me to do that because that would be miserable. <clears throat> you got it. Uh, snake. Yep, so we know you're going to draw natural order, which is a little bit scary. And we're going to draw an island. All right, well. Oh, fire ice is actually great. I will 100% take fire ice. Cast the fire half. Shoot these guys. Actually, eh, I was gonna say we probably should attack with a Cidic slime, but like if they do play natural order next turn, they're probably gonna get like Woodfall. <laughs> probably gonna get like Woodfall Primus. Oh, there he is! Look who it is. Look who it is. It's your boy. What do you sack acidic slime? Sure. Are you going to get the Woodfall Primus that's on top of your library? Spoiler alert, if you don't get that, it'll just stay there. Terastodon. That's a yikes for me, dog. I think I killed both of our blue sources and one of their forests. That's my guess. That's my prediction. Or they can kill Jace, like Blue Source, Blue Source, Jace. How's your stip queue looking? Can I get one in? Well, yeah, definitely. I only have uh, Iron Chef Sammy's in the queue right now, I believe. Let me actually make sure this is... Hold on, let me open... And just checking right now. Yeah, that's the only cube stipulation, I believe. What they just oh they just killed Jace and gave themselves two elephants? Interesting. That gives us a lot of time. Um if we steal this, they have three blockers. We have one, two, three, four, five attackers. This is automatically getting through, so like Doesn't really do much now. And we know they're drawing Kodama's Reach, so that's fine. Unless they have like Crater Hoof in hand, and they were like, one, two, three, four, five, six. Well, that still doesn't do it though. Oh, six attackers because of this guy. Oh. I mean, they'd still let these two get through, so they would go to two, I would imagine. And then we'd. So we can probably do that next turn. I mean, like, they have to win here. They're going to reach. Maybe. So right now they have one, two, three, four. So they have six mana. So they are they can't cast Crater Hope if it's in hand. They can tap this to Kodama's reach, which is fine. I'm for Sammy or Sam. What did I say? Also, apologies, buddy. I'll just call you whatever whatever you prefer is totally fine by me. Did I say Iron Chef, Sammy? Did I refer to your your old school handle? That that was not my. Uh... Um. Okay, so now we just we can just win, right? Like we steal this. 
So they have three blockers. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven guys. As long as they're all two power, they're not. So they can't block this guy. So they block three, 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 nine, nine, and two, two. They would take three, four, five, six. It still doesn't do it. Actually, these are these are all pretty good. Cyclonic Rift is pretty good here. Oh, actually, let's do a thing. Hmm. Hmm. I stopped cooking, so I'm no longer Iron Chef. Now I'm just relaxing. <laughs> nice. Um. I don't know what to do here, actually. Because the thing is, we can actually go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, play Conscripts, untap Sheldock Isle, and then activate it this turn. So that gives us another thing to do. They're going to just draw Rattleclaw Mystic, which we don't really care about. They have to block 9, 9, 3, 3, and 3, 3. So then they take 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Oh, I guess that is lethal. Let me just not care about it, I guess. All right. Well, math is hard. No, we didn't just miss lethal. We haven't done it yet. So. Yeah, I actually thought they were... I thought they would go too. I missed... I miscounted somewhere. Uh, Arc Trail seems good against the green deck. Oh, we have the Deceiver Exarch in here, which is funny because we never hit anything with uh with the combo. Go 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 combo. You know, you know what I'm saying. So cards we can get back with Torrential Gear Hulk. Uh there's actually quite a few, right? Yeah, this is actually a good number. This is more than I expected. Seven seven hits for Torrential Gear Hulk is pretty nice. You're basically a two drop. You're basically a three drop. Again, a lot of removal is nice against the green deck. Pack one, pick one was Muldrifter. <sighs> um I'll keep this hand reluctantly. Six drop, seven drop. Six drop, eight drop is not ideal. <laughs> but what can you do? I am pretty stoked. I am pretty stoked. That's pretty good. Um, yeah, we're not going to copy that. We're just going to hope they don't have a Cytic Slime again, I guess. How many cards are we going to draw with Niv tomorrow? Like 70. Yeah, that's fine. Why'd they overpay? Oh, I see. Thank you. I see. Sam the Bookman, thank you so much for the resub. Welcome back. Really appreciate it. <laughs> Why wouldn't you copy that elf? That's a good question. I could also copy this guy. Um Yeah. Oof. Oof. Yeah, this is no bueno. Hopefully that'll uh that'll hold them back a little bit. 
I would not mind hostage taking a Rafellos. It's not a great target, but it gets rid of it, so. I mean, if we can resolve this Chandra and just wipe their board, it's going to be pretty good. Yikes. I'm tempted to just add a green source just so I can copy their Nissa in the future, but yeah, they're going to have 11 mana next turn, and we can't do anything here. That's pretty sad. Wait, are you being sarcastic about ramping into Hostage Taker? Like, how are we doing that? Like, what are you talking about? What elf or what? How are we ramping into Hostage Taker? I thought you were just being sarcastic. <laughs> like, you know, Arbor Elf has to untap a forest, and this adds mana equal to the number of forests. So, like, we have literal no way to add any mana with our with our with our guys. So. Yep. Terastodon is good enough. God, we have so much removal too. Like, I think if we can hit, <laughs> uh, snow shorts. No worry, buddy. No worry. Oh, Jake. Jake has submitted a legendary draft and stipulation. Jake, what are we? Uh, give me some details in the chat if you have not done so. If you have, let me know and I will go look it up. I will play first. I will keep this hand. <clears throat> Fire Ice is all I want to see when they have Arbor Elves and Rafelos's. Land is greater than elephants, unfortunately. Hmm. I'm tempted to charter course. I'm also just tempted to pass, and I don't want to use this actually because I know they're going to have things. Um, I don't want to discard anything. Is really the problem. I guess we can discard torrential gear hulk. Yeah, I think that's fine. I hope they play like Rafellos here, and then we can fire it. You fired. Uh, but Devils. Let's go with Jace for now. We have a lot of removal here. I think we were hoping for Nickel Bowls. How many times have you drafted Legacy Cube so far? Probably like 37. Let me check. I can actually check right now. 39. So this would be my 40th draft, I think. Uh, if there's a legendary card in the pack... Alright, cool. Got it. Got it. Uh, I'm kind of just tempted to take this, to be quite honest. <laughs> Like, I mean, it keeps them off five mana, which is acidic slime territory. And we get to play it next turn, which is pretty sweet. If there's a legendary card in the pack, must take a legendary card. If not, try to take something that references famous person or location and art player takes their name. If not, they have to take whatever. Um, yeah, I should. Yeah, definitely, definitely give me some exclusions for fixing because that's going to be all over the place. Uh, which I think is fine, but as long as I can cast the spells, I think we'll be good to go. Sure. So long, Sheldock Isle. Or, yeah, alright, sure. Um, Here's what we're going to do. Copy you. Steal you. Attack with you. And then EOT we can factor fiction still, which is nice, thanks to this overgrown battlement. I 
Oh man, Nykthos is actually actual blank right now. That's pretty funny. Split him up. I split up essentially four removal spells. I will take whatever three, whatever three cards you give me, I will take that pile. Deal. I mean, if they didn't have a play last turn, they can't have a play next turn, I would assume. Unless they draw a 4-drop. And we have Murderous Cut. Malicious Affliction, Murderous Cut. Doom Blade. Shriek Maul. Our hand is pretty stacked. I mean, my two power creatures are just really going the distance here. We got 17 cards left, so we can just play Jace for free. Factor Fiction, removing five cards from your library with Shell Duck Isle is pretty nuts. Oh, I guess that's true. They could draw five drop. <laughs> um, I'm just going to take the Chandra. We have the mana for it, and we're going to go to... We've got eight cards anyway. I guess we'd play a land, right? So I think Chandra is strong enough to just be fine with whatever. Um, if they didn't have anything, we could have actually went Zealous Conscripts, deal an extra three, then Arc Trail or Face. Or we could have attacked with Lava Claw Reaches. But that's not going to kill them, I guess. Yeah, this game was pretty lopsided. I feel like the Rafaelis was pretty crucial, and uh, maybe they just drew pretty terribly, too. We could have you know, Nickel Bolas coming down. Do we want the Deceiver Exarch? Stratus Dancer might be better. Uh, we can get a Blood Crypt here. We're definitely getting a Black Source, probably a second Red Source. So Stratus Dancer. Yeah, that's fine. As usual, I'm probably just going to kill that. Because that's what our deck do. Watch her draw fire ice. You ready? Okay, Lava Claw reaches. Um, I'm pretty sure we just want Stratus Dancer here. Same thing when the second part of your server is coming out tomorrow. Tomorrow at, at 11 a.m. I put one out today, one out tomorrow. Do you cuddle Hunter or Big Man more? Hunter. It's His name is Lil Man, not Big Man. Hunter is Big Man. And it's definitely Hunter. Hunter is more affectionate. Lil Man's kind of like... Kind of like meh. I'm just going to attack for two here. Hope they cast a Planeswalker or something. No, that's not going to work, is it? Instant or Sorcery? More like Lil' Meh, am I right? Yeah, that's true. That's true. It is more like Lil' Meh. But what does Lil' Man sound like? Mao. 
เมาส์ This is gonna be like a Nissa Oh, a Pia and a Kieran Nalar Wow, isn't that special? It's not the same. Yeah, I know. I know. Interesting. Yeah, play 17 lands in limited. I don't know if I, I I don't actually that's that's a very open ended question. You're gonna have to be more specific than that. Uh Zenagos. Yeah, you're seeing why the Stratus answer is not great right now. Oh, they're gonna add mana. Fascinating. Oh god. Oh my god. Mother of God. Well, that's a thing, isn't it? I think we're going to see some zealous uh, malicious affliction action here. Much as I'd love to steal that Dragon Lord of Tarka. Now we can actually Zealous Conscripts and kill the Xenagos, which actually puts us in pretty decent shape. Could have also waited till they sixed it, but I don't think they like it's very rare that you're gonna keep plussing it. I mean, using rebuild decks or decks your friends put together is totally fine. Don't let anyone shame you into thinking that, that that's not an okay practice. You're you're more than not everybody is uh, proficient at building decks. Like that's just the the truth of the matter, I think, and and that's fine. That's totally fine. <clears throat> All right, so these were your cultivate hits. Bird of Paradise, I assume you're, you're binning that. And Virtuous Gear Hulk. Well, that's a thing. Garrick. Okay. And you have Gear Hulk on top. Oh my god. Well, that's a thing, all right. That's perfect, because now our Cyclonic Rift is no longer any good. Man, Toxic Deluge. My kingdom for a Toxic Deluge. No blocks. I am tempted to kill this, I guess. Uh... Actually, we'll leave the malicious affliction in here. <clears throat> I guess it doesn't really matter, right? Yeah, it does. Malicious affliction is just better. Well, it's not just better. If they play an artifact creature, I'd rather have a Doom Blade. But um, we already have a murderous cut in the graveyard. We're trying to play uh, in case we draw torrential gear hulk, but we're all gonna have we're gonna have murderous cut in there. So that's actually pretty insane. We could also copy something else. We can copy the Zealous Conscripts, steal the Garrick, ultimate the Garrick. I think we're just copying the this guy. I just want to get rid of their, their Cradle. And they can still cast Virtuous Gear Hulk is the problem, but they can still, I mean, they, I don't know. Is Cradle better than Garrick here? Probably. Not, probably not. Like, we could have stolen the Garrick and ultimated it, and then we would have actually attacked for 12. 
but now they have like one creature. And if we Cyclonic Rift bouncing the Thopter, I think that's fine. Sure. I'm actually just tempted to bounce the Thopter now. Like, the problem is, like, even if we hit a land, we're still going to have to hit another land. So are we really willing to take eight damage from this? I don't think so. And I'm probably not going to save you, but then again, we can double block here, which I actually think is worth it. That's interesting. I don't think it does anything, but... So they're in top deck mode, though, so that's good. They have a Garrick. One, two, three, four, five, six. They have eight mana. Huh. Well, this is actually fine. Yeah, we could kill Garrick here. That's actually pretty good. We could also just play Shriek Maw, kill this. I don't think they have anything here, which is nice. And we have blue, 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 red, red, red. We actually have Niv-Mizzet mana. Yeah, that's not going to do it. Give me a Factor Fiction or a Compulsive Research. I'm going to hold the mountain because we don't need it. Um, if we draw another land, we can play it. But then, like, we want to be able to cast Nickel Bolas when we draw it. That's actually nice. But if I draw a compulsive and I hit like three non lands, I want to be able to discard a mountain. So, <sighs> well, we got rid of a Dragon Lord of Tarka and a Xenagos and a Garrick, so I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that as well. Well, roast is bad against this. Yikes. Against this raging ravine. <laughs> A little man cast Shriek Mao. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty funny. Yeah, that's pretty good. Let's see what we hit. Um, definitely a land. Uh, we can go Jace, negative this guy, keep a blocker up. I mean, if we just... We might die here. Nickel Bulls? Niv Mizzet. That's a dude. One, two, three, four. If they have an answer for the Shriek Mao, then we're in bad shape. But if they don't, then we should be able to to do everything we want. And Shriek Maw's dead, and so are we. Here we go. We fought so hard and got so far, but in the end, didn't even matter. Yep, same, same, seems good. Seems good. So we would have drawn for the turn. We would have negative Jace. Yeah. 
Raging Ravine. Twas our downfall. Uh, Marsh thinning the deck is not anywhere near as relevant as keeping our life total high in that situation. The percentage that it thins the deck is like minuscule compared to that one life when we're at eight. Um, I think we're fine. There's nothing I really like. Dislike. Actually, I don't hate Arc Trail, but it's too late now. Um, yeah, we'll keep this hand. Merfolk Looter and Charter Course. And two removal spells. Murderous Cut being very, very good with both of these. That seems good. All right. Iona does look pretty bad. I agree with you. Uh, I wouldn't say I'm surprised by the amount of new cards. Uh, I think they're perfectly logical. It's logical to add a bunch of bunch of new cards to the cube. So, um, I think it's actually just Zealous Conscripts. Actually, Chandra's pretty good, too. Yeah, let's put the Chandra into there. That's probably going to wipe their board at some juncture. Uh, I'm just going to pass here. We're going to want to hit a land next turn in order to, uh, to red cap here. Noxious. Yeah. Uh, reason not to chart. I just didn't feel like discarding a card, basically. Well, we did hit a land, but fashion will lead to the party now. Um,. Shark goes in the graveyard. We can mill another one. I mean, we could chart. And we could actually attack and then chart to draw two. I, I mean, I, this is a two one. I'd much sooner cut the bird. I don't care about the 2 1 really. Oh, I was one off on the mana. Oh well, that's fine. If they want to pay for Arclight, or uh, if they want to pay for Avalanche Riders, I'm fine with that. Yep, they didn't even care. All right, I was, uh, I, I forgot that we have to discard one. I think it's still fine, but I mean, next time we get to red cap this guy. Echo means you have to pay the mana cost the very next turn it comes into play as well, so you're paying for it twice. You pay four when it comes into play, and the upkeep after it comes into play, you have to pay another four. Sure. Also fine. All of these are fine. Yep. Arc trail. One time. It's not an arc trail. Why would you do this to me? Let's draw. 
Stratostancer? Yeah, you can you can go in the garbage can. This one swamp is pretty obnoxious, but All right, well, looking for looking for something here. That's a yikes for me, dog. Oh boy. Are there enough old cards in the queue that we could do a must pick non modern legal? No, I don't think so. I think you'd have a very unplayable deck, unfortunately. There's just too many cards that are like... Like, because if you look at our hand, every card is modern playable. I'm pretty sure Merfolk Looter is also modern playable. Did they just confluence us for... Six, and that was it? That's aggressive. This is all very aggressive. One, two, three, four. What's up, GK's buddy? Ask if they could stop doing the things. It always seems to... Yeah. Can you stop doing that, please? This is a matchup we're picking up a Toxic Daily. It would have been very, very nice. Oh, I see. You're just going to get two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three. I see. You're just going to get your fiery confluence and kill us now. All right, I understand. Well, we had a good run. Yeah, if you guys haven't done so, check out meundies.com slash Frank Laporte. You'll get 15% off along with free shipping and free returns. They are quite comfortable. Extremely, extremely comfortable. Man, 2 1 into 0 2. That's no good. Do we have Stratus Dancer in the deck? Like, I don't like that card either. <laughs> no, it's in the sideboard, right? No? It's in the main deck? Oh, that's worse than Arc Trail for sure. Stratus Dancer is. New dies, super comfy. And by that, he means me undies. So my favorite cards are the good rates with downside for no reason. Like what? What do you mean? Also, GK Spidey, they did not stop doing the things. What do they do with the returned undies? I'll never tell. Oh, God. Oh, uh, this actually has Charter Course in it. I'm okay with this. So we played like two green base decks that's something oh I have to put a card on the bottom I forgot I mulliganed god it never I wish it, it really needs a better prompt there yep that's fine Can I, can I get that fire ice? Where my fire ice at? I'm gonna discard Cyclonic Rift again, cause it's just like, it's just being a jerk. Have you heard about the new corduroy pillowcases? They're made. They're making headlines. At, wow, wow, that's Steve. That's a that's RPG Badger level. Oh, that's pretty good. That makes our. Uh, are things that are not yeah that's no good I 
I guess we're now if we get rid of this, he just gets. I'd rather get rid of this because it's bigger in the long term. Like they can just make it a four four next turn. Um, but also, if we get rid of this, they just get a two two out of it, so it saves us like no damage. Yeah, I feel like we should have taken like Toxic Deluge or something. Oh man, that moment you realized was so. I felt bad about it. Yeah, it wasn't good. I was like, they're making headlock. Oh, I see. <laughs> well, it's kind of awkward, you see. It would be two and one if they didn't have the honor of the peer out, but uh, here we are. God, we go to f we if we crack this, we go to ten, and then we take five. That seems bad. Although I'm not sure what our alternative is. Malicious Affliction seems good. We have red, red, red. We can get rid of a mountain. All right. Well. Fingers crossed. Uh, quest mode is a sweet little app. Uh, oh, well <laughs> then. Yep, let's, that's, that'll do. That'll do. Yeah, I think this deck is definitely missing something. I'm not a big fan of it right now. I was a fan of it after round one, and now I'm like, nope. Don't like it. Now I want to bring the Stratus Dancer back in for, jeez, Louise. Armageddon. We have no way to deal with an Armageddon. If they Armageddon, we're just like, well, you got us. <sighs> I was gonna say I was saying quest mode is uh, it is an application and a, like a reward a reward program for uh, the team I was recently invited to join team F F two F two K faded karma. I am just gonna play a land here. Robo NATO. We can't just add Iona, buddy. Iona does seem good though. You're not you're not incorrect. Um, I'm gonna play this. I'm just gonna pass. Is it free to join? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Can you not play another creature? I asked you nicely, and you still did that? Wow. That's pretty rude. Well, that's tempted. Tempting. Tempted. Tempting. Tempted to just kill this, but I think we can actually just play Stratus Dancer here, because it blocks. Can you explain a bit more of what it means to be part of the team? Is it is it like a gaming community? Um, yeah, you can actually you can actually join their uh, their Discord channel. Why didn't you play the new bullets and ult to win? Seemed like a missed uh, lethal to me. Yeah, that's my bad. I totally forgot to do that. Oh wow, mono monothalias dot deck over here. Yo, I can take I can take you as my hostage. Clearly I can. I'm not gonna block, so I guess I might as well attack. Next turn we get a free Thalia. That seems good. Unless they have a way to kill our our hostage taker. Which I wouldn't like. I wouldn't enjoy that. If you guys are like, Frank, would you enjoy them getting rid of your hostage taker? My answer would be no. It doesn't look like they're gonna do that though, especially with Thalian play, because now they have to have a zero cost removal spell. And that doesn't seem like a thing they have. Oh, it's your boy. We can actually just play Shriek Maw and kill Thalia. I don't think we're in any rush to to play Hostage Taker out. And we're just going to aggressively keep them off of their their wind brisk heights, I think. Not to be confused with wind brisk heights, which is 
I don't know what that is actually. <sighs> oh, I see. Well, I'm going to block here. Because getting creatures off the board when you have a Windbrisk Kites is where I want to be. Um, one, two, three, sure. That, that felt good. I wanted to get Blood Crypt because I want to make sure we are close as close to niv at mana as possible. I'm not sure if that's going to be relevant here, but that's pretty good. That is pretty good. Can I bounce my hostage ticker to get that? I suppose we could tap it. One, two, three. We're definitely going to compulsive research here. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we're just gonna play discard land here. Let's discard a polluted delta. We'll play the island, and now we're like one, two, three, four, five, six. We're one man away from nickel bolus. We can also torrential gear hulk to bedevil this, the uh, the 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 batter skull itself. With all them planeswalkers getting Japanese altered, which of them is best wa waifu? Uh, I do not know. That is... <laughs> These are valid questions you're asking. I think. Oh. Well, that's a thing, isn't it? Yikes. Well, I think... Think we're gonna kill that? Gain control of target creature. I really want the permanents, not the creatures. So they have no cards in hand. We could either fire this guy or we can ice it. Um, I think icing it's probably better. I want to draw the card. Oh, that's that's nice. Phantasmal image. Steal one, two, one, two. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we can we can co we can steal the copy the hostage shaker, steal the batter skull, play the batter skull. That seems amazing. Um, I'm actually just gonna chump block here. Eh. If we double block, they kill hostage taker, which is kind of a concern. Yeah, I think just getting rid of the batter skull that's already on the board is really where we want to be. Or we can just destroy a non-creature permanent. We can just get rid of the batter skull. The point is we have lots of options here. One, two, three, four, five, six. And they're on they're in top deck mode. I kinda like Phantasmal Image Batter Skull here. Um I want to attack with the hostage shaker because we can't block with it when they have the sword on there anyway. So now we have two blockers, so they have to have two answers. I don't think so. Yep. They also have two extra cards on the board in the form of Horizon Canopy and the Clue, but that leaves them with two mana after the fact, so. That's actually fine. We're at eight, so we can actually take five and then just move Batter Skull over to like Thalia or something. Yeah, that's fine. Not great, but fine. Oh, we're not gonna let them hit though. Yeah, that's pretty bad. Yeah, 
Yeah, I don't want them to connect there. That seems absolutely terrible. Nickel Brolis. Uh, it's destroy a creature, so we're actually gonna... Or it's gain control of a creature. Uh, we can't actually target it anyway because it's pro blue. So, yeah, let's we'll get rid of your stupid sword. Yeah, I can see attacking with one. Block with Hotch Chica, that's totally fine. They were dead if we didn't block? How so? I mean, don't forget they get to get a blocker from the sword of body and mind. Am I... Am I missing that? Oh, the wolf is tapped because of Thalia. That's a good point. So we would have had three, four, five, six, seven on board and we can equip the batter skull. Um, man, wishing I took that a braid. <laughs> I actually kind of like... Cyclonic Rift a little more now just because it lets us bounce like their sword or their batter skull in the middle of attacks. Whip also doesn't seem terrible here. We have a lot of removal. Arc Trail, Roast, Fire, Malicious, Doom Blade, Phantasmal Image, Bed Bedevil, Murderous Redcap, Hostage Taker, Shriek Maw, Murderous Cut. Like we, we have an excess of, of removal. We only have 10 creatures, though, which is why I'm really uh, reluctant to play Whip. Do you think War Draft will be fun without the fixing or Shocklands? Is War is War of the Spark going to be triple War of the Spark? I assume it is, right? Because they're not blocks anymore. Yeah, that's interesting. There is no fixing, right? That's really weird. I actually don't hate Arcane Artisan here. Like, being able to put, like, a Murderous Redcap into play or a Shriek Maw or Muldrifter. I don't think we've drawn Muldrifter once in any of these games so far. Uh, I'm pretty sure we've seen the whole list. The only... I think the Gateway Plaza is the only gate in the, in the format. I'm gonna take Niv Mizzet out, I guess. I don't like that. I like I like even 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 Arcane Artisan Niv Mizzet is just nice. Yeah, all right, we'll do this. We'll take out the Merfolk Looter. Uh, this seems keepable because of Phantasmal Image and Compulsive Research. I just hope we don't die before. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay. 2-2. Two, two, we kill the 2-2. Two, two. Seems good. So we get Underground with this, and we get uh, Volcanic with this. So. Oh. Oh no, they're going to play. Oh my god. That was pretty, 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 pretty good. Yeah, that was pretty good. That was pretty good. Let's, uh, I feel like we want to play compulsive here because we want to hit a land because we want to guarantee. Yeah, let's just discard land anyway. One, two, black, black. Let's get rid of Swamp, and then we can still play Murderous Redcap to kill this, or Bedevil. Yeah, that's fine. We'll take four here. And then we'll just kill Silverblade Paladin. We'll have a great blocker for the Tithe Taker, and... They have two cards in hand? I feel like this is okay. Don't have Mana Tithe. Oh my god, I would have cried. I would have cried if you tithed. Tithe. Don't don't tithe. Or make me cry. 
It was all terrible. For sure. This is nice because if we block here, we can still shoot this guy. So. Um. Yeah, you're active player, so your trigger goes first, doesn't it? All right. So when this creature dies, when this creature dies, so your your trigger goes on first. Mine will come back after I have to choose a target. Yeah, because Containment Priest, I guess that's how that works. Sure. Oh, actually, if a non-token... Oh, it's non-token. Ooh, that's unfortunate. All right, so we can actually bedevil this. Black, black, red, and then Phantasmal Image. I don't know, Tithe Taker, I guess? It seems fine. Like, they have no cards in hand? All right, well, that's really good. Black, black, red. Nope. Black. We could also go blue, 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 red, red. We can also just take four. Oh, we can actually just murder us red cap number two. That seems much better. Why would I even copy the tithe taker? Yeah, they have no cards in hand, and we have a full grip of, of Chandra, niv at Charter Course, Factor Fiction. I think we just won this game. Okay, and our opponent confirms. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Slam like and subscribe and check me out on Twitch. Check me out on Patreon. Check me out on meandies.com slash Frank Lepore. You can check me out at manatraders.com. You'll get 20% off your first three months of any subscription with the link and promo code in the description. And you can find my articles at coolstuffinc.com and use promo code Frank5 to get 5% off your order. Thank you guys so much. Slam the like and subscribe buttons. I will check you out next time.